I've been traveling around the world for over 25 years, yet strangely enough, I've never made my way to Auschwitz in Poland. And to be honest, I don't know why. Auschwitz is a place where the horror of the Holocaust is very visible. It is also a place where the immense suffering of its victims is remembered. There are two areas, Auschwitz I and the nearby Auschwitz II Birkenau. I did both of them. Be aware, some parts are really disturbing. This is one of them, the gas chambers. These rooms were built to kill large numbers of people quickly and efficiently. They were mostly Jews, Romani people and Soviet prisoners of war. The Nazis mostly used Cyclone B. This is a cyanide-based pesticide. They used openings in the ceiling to release the gas. The lethal cyanide gas suffocated and killed all those inside. Auschwitz had crematoria equipped with ovens to incinerate all of the bodies. The crematoria next to the gas chambers streamlined the process of extermination and disposal. Block 10 was a particular block that was used for various medical experiments conducted on prisoners. The victims of these experiments suffered greatly and many did not survive. From this block you can see the execution square. Before the constructions of the gas chambers, the Nazis conducted mass shootings at this spot. Troublemakers, prisoners who were perceived as threats or those who attempted to escape, were often hanged. Many people with disabilities faced severe discrimination and often did not receive adequate care. The shoes and suitcases are symbolic of the personal belongings that were taken from the victims. There are many blocks you can visit. Like this one, where lots of experiments were done. It now has an exhibition about the many Dutch Jews that were transported to Auschwitz. This is Auschwitz II, also known as Birkenau. This dead camp lies just a few kilometers from Auschwitz I. Birkenau was constructed in 1941 as an expansion of the Auschwitz complex. It was much larger in size than the original Auschwitz I. The train tracks at Auschwitz-Birkenau were used to transport victims from various parts of Europe to the camp. You can see some of the wagons that were used for the transport. Birkenau had also several gas chambers and crematoria where victims were murdered en masse. Today, Auschwitz-Birkenau serves as a memorial and museum reminding the world of the atrocities committed there. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, an important site of Holocaust, remembrance and education. I will never forget my trip to Auschwitz. It has been one of the most intriguing excursions I've done in my life. This trip will be remembered for a long time. I hope something so inhumane will never happen again.